Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janet. Welcome! So, I'm just about to inform you on my painting. And it's now, I believe, over 10 months I self-taught myself how to paint. So, I am about to paint something tonight and I want to do a tree. Some trees or with some... Uh, sun behind like cloud sun whatever at the back so I'm gonna try and do something like that tonight so if you stay with me stay tuned and watch and I hope you all is all right you lovely people okay I hope you all is well and doing well so yes so I'm just about to show you what I'm about to do so welcome 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 so I have some stuff here. I got I already prepared. Sorry about this. Um, already prepared my. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So one minute, one minute. I already prepare my paints over here. So I have a green here. I have a soft mint green. Oh, one minute. One minute. One minute. Hmm. So I have a soft mint green here, just here, and I have a sapphire blue. This is sapphire blue. So I'm going to put all these colors and mix. I'm going to try and mix some colors tonight because I'm normally not very good with mixing. I normally buy the color upright, outright, you know, like find the color painted whether it's brown or whatever I'm looking for I normally look for the color but I'm gonna try and do some color mix do some mixing today and I've got some let me see white of course I'm gonna use titanium white like this white here Bianco so this one I'm gonna use this white and I'm gonna use also the Forest green, I will try and use it's almost finished, but I will you uh, find some in it and because I can mix try and make some darker greens. I got this other one which is like a, a soft mint one here. I think I showed you that one before soft mint. And um I'm gonna use that blue and also I have some yellows. What yellow is this? I can't even see it. It's a little bit dark. Anyway, I got this brighty kind of yellow I bought as well. So I'm going to use this yellow. And also, just to brighten up the sky, I'm going to put some yellow in the sky because I want the background to be really white. I got some uh, cloth here to wipe my brushes. Like, you know, when I wash my brushes. I also got some water. It's always good to have a thing of water. So I just put some water in a jar. And I also got my palette here. So I'm going to mix all my color on the palette. And I'm not so sure what brushes I'm going to use. So I got a few brushes here. But I don't know the names of all my brushes yet. I'm still learning. Even though I was learning for ages, I still haven't got the name. Unless they have the name on it, what brushes they are. I don't really know. This is a number four. And I believe this is a flat brush. So I'm going to use a number four. I'm going to use this detail one here as well for when I do in my branches. Because I'm going to do the uh, branches and stuff like that on the trees. I also have this one here. I'm not too sure what one is this, but I'm going to use this also to help me put the the branch the leaves on. And I got my wire brush, so I will use my wire brush to help me do the sky and the clouds. But every time I'm painting, for you to know what brush I'm using, I will show show you before I start painting. So you got a understanding so you learn with me while I'm learning 
I haven't been doing bad so far, so I'm trying to keep up with it. Thank you. Um, I might use my fan brush as well. So any brush I use, I'll show you first. I'll just go like that and you'll know what brush it's because if I don't know the name of them, because I'm still learning. I'm going to use black as well also, just this black on my, my, um, to mix colors and stuff. And I will also use my burnt amber because I like to use burnt amber in a lot of my colors. So I've got all my stuff here. I've got this to wipe my brushes off. I've got water, I've got my brushes, I've got my palettes. So I'm gonna put all of them now in my palette. So, um, as I said, I'm not sure what size canvas I have. I know is maybe 10 by something, it's a very small one. But you can use any size canvas you like because I'm just doing trees. So just bear with me. So hi guys. I got some, all my colors, I mix all my colors, I pour all my colors out. I have mint green here. I have jungle green, no jungle green. And I have leaf green. Have a uh, yellow, I'm not sure what yellow it is. I've burnt amber. But no, this is burnt amber, sorry. And M-O-C-H-A Moko. This one, there, this color here. And I've got black, I've got titanium white. I've got orange, I've got some blue for the sky. So I'm just about to paint the sky, like the cloud. So I'm gonna do some clouds now. So I'm gonna mix the blue and white for the cloud. So I'm going to mix blue and white for the crowd. I'm going to change my um, paintbrush because this one is no good. So I'm going to paint the, change the paintbrush. It's a bit too small, my paintbrush. So I'm going to start doing some clouds. But I will have to paint the, uh, change the paintbrush, sorry. It, 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 can't talk. Um, eventually. I will have to change my paintbrush. So I'm gonna use this blue and I'm gonna just make the clouds. So I'm just gonna make some clouds here now. Like a kind of light brown. I want the clouds to be very, very bright. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna continue. Paint in the sky in blue and white. I hope my it's light enough for you to see. Ooh, we're gonna have to like um sort of maybe deal with my camera a bit. And if you're using a canvas like mine, make sure oops, make sure you paint the top as well. Because um that's that one. I get paint everywhere when I'm painting. Literally, I have to wear all clothes because but I was looking at something on YouTube and you know what? To get paint out, I never knew this. And I wanted to look because I ruined some of my nice clothes, some of my good clothes with painting. So I realized you can use hair spray and rub it into the area and remove it and then use something. I went on YouTube and I saw this thing and it's really good. It helps to um, remove paint from your clothes. And it's with hay spray. I was amazed that you could use hay spray to do all that. So what I'm gonna do in my cloud, I'm gonna put a little orange in my cloud. Cause I want it to look my, not my cloud, my sky. So I'm gonna put a little orange in there and maybe a little yellow as well. Cause I want it to look really, like give it that kind of nice color. I want it to look like brightish. No, not too dark and not too light. Just like, oh, sometimes I put the water too, too much and then it's, um, so um, it goes different colors. 
Now I need some more white in that, so I'll put some more white. Some more white in there. I think I did put a little bit too much orange, but never mind, it still looked good because I could still come back and put some blues in and stuff. So I'm mixing colors today. I'm gonna try and mix some colors. And then I want more white. So I'm gonna carry on with some white. So if you carry on, I'll be back with you. So what I'm doing now, I've got some more white and then I'm just putting the white in between to give it a little bit more lighter look, brighter effect. So I'm doing this now. And then some red, maybe I didn't put no red in my color, but I might put a little red in it as well. My sky, just a little red in my sky as well. Well, I will see. So I want to make some like clouds in my sky. So I'm going to make some cloud. I want to make some cleaner cloud effect like so I'm gonna do some cloudy effect okay so I'm just gonna use white only and just like make some cloudy effect in there okay because I like to see clouds and all these things you know so I'm just gonna put some the effect in here and then I'm gonna do that so that will do because I'm gonna bring it down a little bit like halfway so I can get some thing and um so I'm gonna keep bringing it down a bit more so I could uh, get it halfway because I want to put maybe some water at the background. I want to do it with some water. So I'm going to carry on like this and then eventually. So I'm going to do it halfway down the canvas if you continue to do what I'm doing. So, so using white only, bring it down like that using white only so I bring it down the color of the can the half of the canvas about that much canvas yeah yep and then my sky okay my sky with some lovely sky going on there some lovely not sky cloud sorry some nice clouds going on there yeah lovely clouds everywhere and that will look so beautiful. So you can see this cloud there and cloud here. And looking good. You know, now I'm gonna do the bottom bit in a minute. But first thing first, I wanna do my trees first. I think that look even to me. That's look half, half to me. That look halfway. So I believe that's even. Let me make sure I do the side as well. And now I'm gonna do uh, a tree. I'm gonna like make a tree now. So I put my brush in the water now and now I'm gonna do a tree. So I was using a wire brush now I'm gonna use this one, this flat one. I don't know what number is it. Not sure what number it is. Maybe the number came off. As number four. So I'm gonna use number four flat brush and I'm gonna use black for my tree. So I'm going to start a tree somewhere along here. No, first of all, I might put a little water in the background. Sorry about that one minute. See, sometimes you get things wrong, but you could always sort it out. It's all new for me, so I am still learning, as I said. So what I want to do now is get a watery effect, like around here. So I want to make some water somewhere here, because I want to put water at the back and I want to put the tree in the front so I'm gonna do some water here yeah so I'm just using some blue with the white but mainly blue mainly blue yeah and then I'm gonna make like 
like a little lake or something behind here. So you could see some water running somewhere behind the trees, like a lake somewhere here. So this is what I'm preparing to do now. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to continue that. I'll be back with you. Yeah, I forget to show you the brush I use for the for the background there. I don't know what brush, what, make, what thing is it, but it's this one. It looked like a flattish brush as well. So I use this one just back here to do like a, a water, some lake or something back here. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to do my trees in front. So I'm going to start doing some big old trees around here. Some very, very big tall trees. I'm not going to do them little. I'm going to do some massive trees today. I will put my grass and all that after. That's not really that important, my grass. Because I'll put them after. I just want trees. So what I'm doing, I'm just making trees, yeah? I'm just making trees and that's it. Big trees. Big trees. And I'm going up and I'm going up with them all the way up to the sky up here with my trees them. So I need more black and I'm going to put more black into my trees. Because I'm going to give my tree a different effect. It's not going to be like all black. I'm going to blend and do all kinds of different things with it, but... I'm just going to go up with the trees. I'm going to carry on and make my trees. And then... Right, 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 right. Okay. So, I'm going to make sure I'm trying to mostly... Because I'm going to put... I'm going to detail my trees after. Okay, so I'm going to detail it after. Make it really, really proper. After I'm going to make it proper. So this tree... Oh, let me let you see lower down what I'm doing. So this tree... Um, Yeah. This tree is going to have some lovely branches. So I'm going to put some branches on this tree. You know, like some nice branches on there. Like that one. And I'm going to put hay fatter. And then make it smaller. You know, like um, nice branches and stuff for my trees. You know, like that. Um, if you carry on doing the branches like this. Yes, it's just carry on doing branches. Like this, you know, like that. Get your branches on the tree and stuff. Get your branches on the tree. So that's it. Another branch, another branch, another branch. So yes, so this is my tree branches there. So I'm going to continue doing branches. I'm making another small tree here. So I already got this down. And I'm making a very small tree here now. So you got to get this out like that. You know, make it really good. Make it look like, you know, it's tree how it's supposed to look. And then we... Take this all the way up, all the way up. I want my tree to go all the way up. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, like put some branches, more branches, more branches. So like that. And then I'm going to do smaller ones. And I'm going to do a few more big ones coming like that like this then I'm gonna do some small ones after this with some smaller branches so this is black only I'm using but because it's on the other color of the paint it coming out kind of great but don't watch that because that is gonna be all detailing and different colors is gonna go on it I can do my own thing on there so I'm gonna leave it like that I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to put some smaller ones there. So one minute. So now I'm using uh, like this brush. It's kind of like that, like it's going like this. So what I'm going to do now, I have this brush I'm going to use. It's like a small, I don't know what this brush is called, but it's just the one I'm going to use to help me do some more of the branches. So I'm going to do smaller branches now and come off like that. See, like that, branches, like that. So keep making branches everywhere, just do them, branches, okay? So I'm just still using just the black only. I'm making branches, okay? So... This is what I'm doing. At the moment, I'm just making branches. Just branches. Okay. So, I'm going to do even smaller ones. But I'm dealing with a big one first. 
And then I'm going to use my detail brush to even make them more smaller. You know? So, here I go. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So, I'm just continuing to make branches. Some of them for each other as well. Like that. Some coming this way as well. You know, like that. And then do different ones, two different ones, two different branches. Like that, and like that. And like this. You know, like that. And like that. Yeah. Just branches. Just all branches now. And then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a smaller thing, a smaller, um, I'm going to use a smaller, um, brush now to do much, much more, like, sort of detail, like, so I'm going to use a tiny brush, and I'm going to continue this brush, I'm going to continue to detail. So far, this is what I was doing on my painting, I just adding little tiny ones, like, uh, like the branches and stuff in the trees to make it look better, you know, like, I'm just adding, adding details, like one of the ones. So that's basically it, and now I'm going to start adding leaves. So basically, this is what I've done so far with my tapping technique. i just been, um, like, tapping, doing the tapping technique everywhere, and just put the dark green. Now I'm going for the, this color green now, the lighter one. Not the lightest one, but the lighter one now. So I'm going for the, I think it's jungle green and then the mint green. So I'm going to use the same brush and then go over them. Go over the leaf like this. I'm just going to go like that on the same kind of area. I think I need it, it to dry a little bit. And then I'll do the same method all over. And um, I will just put in this one on top of the darker one so you just do this everywhere so it will be looking great when I finish so just continue to do that use the mint green I mean the jungle uh, is it jungle oh that was a jungle green this was a leaf green so use the leaf green on every dark colors okay so just continue to dab it everywhere on the darker bits and that will, you will see the difference. So I'm continuing with that. So I'm using another brush. I'm using this one. I have some. So I'm gonna use the mint. The that was mint green. What green was this again? Let me see. I think it was mint green. This one because that was a jungle green. So I'm gonna use mint green, the lighter one, on top. But I'm using a different brush. I'm using this brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's like this. You can see it. So now I'm gonna. I don't touch up the rest with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dab them everywhere with the lighter green now. So I'm going to dab it in there. I should wait for it to dry a bit more first. So just do like me and continue to put this other color on top and put it on the others. You know, and let it just come true realistically. So this is my other color I'm using now. You can see the difference already with this color. Can you see the difference? So this is the lighter green. And I'm just dabbing it. Just tapping it with this color now. So I'm just tapping it gently with this color now. And bringing in the color out. And then after this, I will use like some yellows to highlight in the middle here where it's light coming in. So I'm just going to continue with this color. So if you continue to do this. So I'm going to put some highlight coming So now I finish my um, green, I'm going to use the yellow now. So I'm going to use some yellow on my fan brush. And I'm going to put some bright color, like if it's all highlight coming to this right now. Maybe a little bit better, I should really see this image to dry uh, a bit, so, but it's fine. I'm just going to continue to use my fan brush. I'm going to use fan brush in this area with some lighting. Oh, I'm going on the brown now on the and just do some little highlights some with the orange I'm just gonna do some bits here with the orange 
Got some orange pictures here coming through. Just orange here. Just orange in the field back here, so it looks brighter. So I'm just gonna continue to put some orange here. Right here. So I can have some colors coming in. So this is me mixing my own colors and everything, doing what I, what I think is going to look good. So I'm going to continue that. Now I think I'm going to use some burnt amber or uh, more. Uh, what is it? Burnt amber? No, no, no. It wasn't the burnt amber. Monaco, M-O-C, M-O-C-H-O, Moco, and then I'm gonna just put some darker colors here. So use some Moco and the orange, and I'm gonna put it just here. Because, um, so I'm gonna continue to do that. Put it just there. So yes. Now I want to mix a little darker green now, so I'm going to put some green with some brown and make it a little darker, the green. So using it with the moko, moko um, brown, that brown kind of, they look like amber. So I'm putting this just here. So a little darker green is going here with, and I'm doing it with the fan brush. So I'm going to put some green into it. I will detail them after when I finish, but it's just getting them in there now and then I will detail them after. So it's no problem. So just continue to do that. Mix some of the Moco, M-A-C-H-A, Moco, 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 Moca, or something like that, Moca. Oh, I can't pronounce it properly, but something like that anyway. I will show you. This is it. There. So I'm using this one on the trees and everywhere along here and I'm just going to continue to fill that in. So I'm basically detailing the tree with some orange now, with some orange as well. I don't know if you can see, I'm basically detailing it with orange now. i done some white so now I'm doing orange in there. Just making it look like trees really. And then I'm gonna put some black, more black on the outer side. So just continue to detail your trees with black and different color orange, gray and just get it right. That's it basically. I'm just detailing some of my grass now. I'm using yellow and orange, and you know where I put the orange grass. I'm just making detail like little bushes, little grass popping up. So if you continue to do that in the yellow part and make them look like grass coming out, go from every corner and every side like that. Just continue to do that. Basically, I'm doing some detail grass with mint green. And I'm just using the little detail brush. I normally say detail pen. I'm saying brushes tonight. And just make some detail one where I put the green. Because I put green one here. Mix the green there and put all green. And I put light on the other side. So all I'm doing now is putting detail bushes. Continue to do that all over. So basically... I am just detailing all my grass, making them look like grass. 
So I'm using now the mint green to just do the grass because before I was using the the leaf green and now I'm using the mint green with some white added sometime just to make it stand out a bit. So I'm just doing this. And if you just carry on doing that all through and detail the grass. What I basically do is add more color, more like the lime green. I put more on top of the leaf, just bringing them more realistic, bringing them out. So I put more on them and I go wrong. I still leave in the other colors, but I add in more to them. Like some on some of the dark one I'm doing, I'm just going in and putting more green. And if you notice, I bring more leaf across here because it was too much trees and not enough leaves. So I put more leaf across here. So just do that if you like it, prefer it that way, put more leaf on it. So what I'm basically doing is tapping and brightening up with some mint green. So just continue to do that. I changed the tree on my painting. I saw to use some burnt amber and the other color, the other brown color. And I put some, also mix some, I use this Monaco and uh, if I'm saying it, pronounce it right, and the burnt amber. And I put some orange with the black, make a kind of gray one and I'm just, Striking them down into my tree, making my tree different. So basically change the style of the tree. Instead of going across, I'm just doing, like adding colors and just changing the tree down now. So I'm going to add some blue and white in a minute. So light blue and white in a minute. I'm going to add some blue and white. So I end up detailing my tree somehow. Because I add more stuff to it. I add more branches with that more Monaco color. So I add more and kind of detail my tree. So, well not kind of detail, I detail it. So it looking much better. And I put brown in it so looking good so I don't know if I'm gonna change some white note some of the brown I don't think I'm gonna leave the brown like that I think I'm gonna whiten it out eventually so I'm just playing with it at the moment making my trees them bigger making them look more better because I can't have a strany tree and um a big body small body so the body have to be to link up with the same size as the tree so I'm just basically detailing my trees them out making them more realistic looking so that's what I'm doing right now so if you continue to do that what I'm doing I'm still like detailing the trees making branches I'm putting my branches like anywhere basically and just Fit them in, making them look like branches. So I'm making like, you have to make like the bottom half kind of little tickyish around there when you wear it join and make the rest look slimmer. So if you watch what I'm doing, you'll get it right, like I just did that one. So, um, yeah, so I'm just basically getting them all together, really all together so what I'm going to do as well I'm going to um, um, put some white like some gray I'm gonna use some gray in it I need some white paint I'm gonna use some gray in it and um, like kind of get some white going in there's some like brim, bl uh, black and white use some black and white now and just put them in and kind of highlight it out like that the tree highlight it out with the black and white so it doesn't look so dark so I'm just gonna highlight everywhere with a little white 
in the tree like that so we could add more light to the painting and it don't look too dark so that's basically what I'm going to do now so basically now I add more branches I'm adding more leaf with this brush I don't know what brush it is adding more leaf so that it could be more fuller than seeing too much branches even though I still wanted to see the beauty of my branches I want to add a bit more leaf so I'm using the jungle green, the darker green first, and then I will lighten it up after. So I'm putting some of this in between, like just tap some in and make it look more better because now we have too much of trees showing and not enough leaves. So I'm basically putting a bit more leaves on the tree and that will help and that will make it look a lot more better even though I still want some of my tree to show the beauty of my my um, what do you call it my branches I still want to show the beauty of my branches so what I'll do, I'll just add a few more bits of leaves so they don't look, you can still see the branches in the tree. See, I was going to try and make some colors. I did try, but not good enough. So I end up using the colors, them straight up. I mix some. So I'm basically mixing green now the lime green I'm mixing that to put over the dark old green I just used because as I told you it's too empty now and the tree need more leaves on it because I put more branches in so basically just going to tap it just basically tap over the darker ones and that will be it just the darker leaves I put in I'm gonna tap this over them so just continue to do that so all I did now is just continue to put in the thing and I just dot it with the darkest and then you still keep in the green, you still keep in some of the other color but you just dotting it around in there. Sorry because you still want it to look really nice. Excuse me. Burping. <laughs> so um yeah so you just continue to do this. Um, it's finished now. I'm quite happy with my trees them now. I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with them. I think that's the end of them now. Because it's looking good to me. I don't think it needs to be any more detail. I done my little thing that hanging off good. And I'll show you a close up um, with it in a minute. I'll show you a close up. And I still keep some of my branches to show how lovely they look. So I'm done. This is it. This is my painting. I don't know if to put somebody sitting there. I don't know. I think I will just leave it. Leave it plain. I think I'll just leave it like this today. So you can see my painting and I'm going to do a close up with it. You see the... I even leave the branches by themselves, some of them without no leaves, so you can see the beauty of them. This is the finished product of my painting. It's all done. I'm happy with it. You can see everything on it. And tell me if I'm not getting better from over 10 months now with my trees and everything. So this is it. This is my painting for the day, for the night show, I see. And I even put the little detail of the little branches. Look at them hanging. See, they're hanging down. And I'm pleased with my tree. Very, very pleased with them. So thank you all for watching my channel. And I will be seeing you guys very soon for another update on my painting.